Hey, MCE crew, let's talk about how to get your hands on some gold for under $100. Let's talk about building that portfolio. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say this is not investment advice. Okay, I'm just educating you on a way to get your hands on some gold for an affordable price to start to build that portfolio if you so desire. Now, I will say that there's a lot more you have to do uh, before you consider uh, investing in anything. If you've got a lot of, uh, if you got a high interest rate on some revolving credit, like say you got a 17, 18% interest rate on a credit card and you've got a couple of thousand dollars in debt on that card, you really want to go ahead and get that paid off. Now, the reason you want to do that is because that interest, that high interest rate is probably well above a lot of what you could invest in. It's well above the return or many things you can invest in, okay? Uh, so you want to go ahead and take care of that because it's costing you money, money that you could otherwise use to purchase assets. So again, this is not investment advice. This is just education. And depending on your situation, depending on the due diligence that you conduct for yourself, uh, this might be an alternative. So let's get into it. Okay, now gold is becoming precious metals, hard assets, are becoming more and more important because of the way the United States government has been out there acting. The United States government has basically turned into a two-bit neighborhood mobster, wannabe mobster. Well, I, I tell, tell you what, they are mobsters. They're the mobsters of the worst kind because, you know, the mob, La Cosa Nostra, uh, you know, the Russian mafia, um, you know, what, what's the other one? The, um, triads, they could, yeah, it was a limit to what they could do to you. Okay. They could hurt you. Sure. Or worse, but you know, they couldn't attach themselves to your income in perpetuity. They couldn't absolutely destroy you. They couldn't imprison you. OK, uh, they couldn't bring down the full weight of a government as powerful as the United States government on you, the individual. They couldn't do that. So uh, we've, we're dealing with mobsters here when we're talking about the United States government. And if you don't believe me, just go back and watch a video we did about how the IRS is now said that they're going to basically be your partner in crime. They want everything. OK, they are literally turning you upside down and shaking the coins out of your pockets. Uh, and they're doing that by saying, look, even if you go out there and commit bribery, if you steal something. So let's say you come into a 7-Eleven and commit an armed robbery. They want to know how much you got and they want their piece of it. No lie. Go back and watch a video. I display the actual IRS code. They also are okay with you dealing drugs as long as they get their cut. I know it sounds unbelievable. If you've seen the video, you know I'm not lying. If you haven't, then go ahead and watch it and bring yourself up to speed with that unbelievable uh, turn of events for us here in the mighty United States of America, a country I love, a government I don't trust at all. So, Gold is becoming much more popular because when you see a government, gold and other precious metals, when you see a government engage in the types of behaviors that we are currently watching the United States engage in, uh, then it should be a hell of an indicator that things are falling apart. And again, I love this country, but the, it, the government has been just horribly mismanaged. And this is not a new thing. We're actually witnessing the culmination of a lot of mismanagement that goes back decades upon decades. And you can see these politicians are doing things like uh, Nancy Pelosi recently came out and said, hey, you know, I'm cool with insider trading uh, in, among Congress. Should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Uh She's one of them. She's made her, her husband is made. Do you think that Nancy Pelosi doesn't learn things as uh, in her position as Speaker of the House? OK. Three heartbeats away from the president of the United States. Do you think she learns things and she doesn't go home 
to her husband, who is a, an investor, and engage in pillow talk uh, about what she learned. Okay, if you think that, then I have a bridge that spans the Chesapeake Bay that I'd like to interest you in. Of course she does. Uh, and she gets to appear squeaky clean. Well, I'm not investing. It's my husband. There are rules in place for financial advisors that restrict what not only they can invest in, but also what their immediate family can invest in. These rules don't apply to Congress. Why? Because they make the rules. So you see that type of behavior. You see just profligate spending among those in Congress uh, to the point where they don't care. Trillion dollars, just spend it. Who cares? Lots of it comes back to them in the way of pork and pet projects for their state, keep them in power. And you listen, let me tell you this. Tom Daschle, I'm sure unless you follow politics, you may not know who he is. He used to be, uh, he used to occupy Chuck Schumer's position in the Senate. Tom Daschle used to be the um, head of the Senate back during the 2000s, okay? And this is during the time I was a lobbyist in Washington, D.C. Well, anyway, John Thune beat him in an election in his state. So uh, uh, Daschle got thrown out. A week later, I'm in the elevator at my office, okay, an office filled with lobbyists, okay, and who steps into the elevator with me? Tom Daschle. Uh, he was already, he hadn't missed a beat, okay. In fact, he probably was doing a lot better because he was making the rounds consulting for these big Fortune 500 companies. Actually, Verizon at the time was a Fortune 10 company. So he was putting money in his pocket to the tune that he'd never seen in the Senate. So this is a revolving door. These guys, you know, grease palms all over D.C. and in various states. And then even if they lose an election, they still win. So we're seeing this type of cronyism. Uh, these guys are, you know, stealing everything but the kitchen sink. And it's making our dollar worth less. All right. And I, you know, I sound like a broken record, but I firmly believe that by the early 2030s, the U.S. dollar will no longer be the world's reserve currency. And when that happens, uh, it's going to be a lot of changes in this country that we're already starting to see. I'm putting together a video on that that's going to come out this week. Well, maybe the next video. So how do you buy gold for less than $100? Because you're probably thinking, look, I want to get in on possibly investing in some precious metals because if you watch this channel, you know the function that gold and silver perform is to act as an insurance policy of sorts and uh, they protect your buying power. They preserve the value of your uh, dollar. So you imagine going in and purchasing $100 worth of stuff, whatever it is today, okay, with dollar bills. Do you think you're still going to be able to get the same amount of stuff with that same $100 in five years? History tells us, no, that's not going to happen. In fact, you're going to get less, all right? But would you still be able to take an ounce, say, of gold and purchase whatever it is gold's able to purchase, one ounce is able to purchase today, and still be able to purchase that same amount in five years? The odds are you would be able to do just that because gold has held on to its value, its buying power for thousands of years. In fact, they got a new exhibit down in, I believe it's the Museum of Natural History in Houston, um, I believe. It's called uh, King Tut's Gold or something like that. Not King Tut's Bitcoin, his gold, okay, from 3,000 plus years ago when he found it valuable and the Egyptians found it valuable, the ancient Egyptians. So you want to buy gold, but you're like, hey, gold's $1,800 an ounce and I don't have $1,800 and I don't want to wait until I save $1,800 because then gold will probably be at $2,200 and it'll keep getting away from you. What do you do? Well, gold is sold in denominations. So if you engage in the purchase of, let's say, a gold American Eagle coin, then you have some choices other than an ounce. They start off at tenth ounce. 
denominations. Okay, so uh, the price of gold is about $1,800 right now, of course, and I'm not including any premium that would be added on to the uh, price of the coin in order so that the dealer makes money. I'm not including any premium. We're just talking about the raw price of it, spot price. So if you have a one ounce gold eagle coin, it costs $1,800. And of course, a 10th ounce coin is going to cost $180. Now that becomes a lot more affordable, get you in the game. Okay. Uh, they have coins that are 10th ounce. They have coins that are uh, one quarter ounce, one half ounce, and of course the ounce. Now, uh, that's gold. Silver, let me check the price for silver right about now. Silver American Eagles, okay, from the U.S. Mint. They come in a one ounce size, okay, one ounce denomination or size, whatever you want to call it. Um, they don't come in fractions. And that's okay because silver is much more affordable than gold. So it's hovering around the early 20s, uh, $22.37 it looks like today. So, of, co of course, that's a lot more affordable. Now, you might even say, look, man, I don't have $180. That's fine. I'm just starting out. I'm looking at different things or I don't want this to be a, a tremendous percentage of my portfolio or whatever it is. OK, gold is also sold in uh, a gram denomination now. The gram size is not produced by the U.S. Mint. The gram size is produced by uh, various gold uh, dealers, and it's about it's a little over fifty-two dollars for a gram. Again, we're talking prices that don't include premiums. So that's what we're looking at here. If you want to go out and do that, now where do you do that? Well. You could always uh, go in and purchase gold from a dealer. You've got to go and Google it. And I'm sure in your area, there is a gold dealer. Uh, there's a business that is uh, dealing in gold and other precious metals as well. We have one here in Maryland that uh, they actually, it's when they shut the economy down here in Maryland, when our governor in his infinite wisdom uh, shut the economy of Maryland down in 2020. Uh, there was some, there was some miscommunication over whether or not the gold dealers could remain open, but they are uh, they're part of commerce. Okay, they're part of the banking system, so absolutely they got to stay open. Um, so that's where we're at with 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 being able to do that. Now, if you're on the other side of the equation and you are experienced in investing and uh, you do have, uh, you know, some money that you're looking at and saying, you know, oh, no, um, this money is not going to be doing me any favors in just U.S. dollars. When we say cash, uh, in my estimation, that includes gold and silver as well because they hold value and they are liquid uh, as long as you have uh, a dealer somewhere. Everybody knows the value of gold. And everybody knows the value of silver. It's out there. So to those who are on the other side of the equation and can afford more, there are ways to do it. And of course, you can store gold at your home. Um, I would advise against it simply because if you have a lot of gold, then it becomes a security concern. So there's a way to do this where the gold isn't necessarily in your immediate possession, but it is... Uh, listed as belonging to you, you're able, it's liquid, you're able to sell it, and uh, you're ac actually able to move it around if you encounter uh, political uh, upheaval or disturbances in one country versus another. Goldmoney.com is a service, that, and we're not getting anything from them. They're not sponsoring us in any way. Gold money is a service where you can actually purchase gold and have them hold it for you, Okay. Uh, in vaults, secure vaults throughout the world. And let's say you have some gold stored over here in Umbapa Mau Mau, the country, the sovereign state of the Republic of Umbapa Mau Mau. And, you know, the Umbapa Mau Mauians uh, start to engage in some revolutionary activity and it's looking like it's not too stable. Well, goldmoney.com will 
facilitate the transfer of your gold to another vault that they have in a more stable country like uh, Nextdoria, that, uh, Nextdoria, the Republic of Nextdoria. Uh, I almost said Nextdoria.com, but I'm sure Nextdoria does have a website, so that would have uh, sufficed as well. So that's a secure way to do it when you're really someone who is investing heavily in precious metals and they're a larger part of your portfolio, portfolio, and you have a large portfolio. This is becoming more and more um, imperative, in my opinion, uh, because, again, you're seeing things occur in the most stable nations in the world, the so-called democracies, the Western democracies that are supposed to be so damn stable. You're seeing things occur in those countries that uh, if they continue on at the rate they are, um, it may endanger the uh, current economic um, situation. Now, two things. Number one, uh, with a company like Gold Money, you must remember that uh, you're in a situation where your gold is stored in vaults throughout the world. You can inspect, well, I don't know if you can inspect it, maybe you can, but you can't see it on a daily basis. So there's got to be some trust there, okay? Um, the other alternative, maybe you can bury it in your backyard and, um, you know, get a lot of guns at your house and, you know, do that thing. But you got to leave your house at some point. So there's a trust factor there. The other thing I want you to be aware of is um, I don't see a for I don't foresee a situation where um, we're trading in gold and silver, although. There is an ATM in Abu Dhabi that dispenses gold in exchange for cash. Uh, so who knows? Maybe that'll catch on. And the uh, people who run that have said that they're going to expand that network of ATMs. We got a rash of guys here in the Baltimore area that are snatching ATMs, smash and grab. They ride right through the Walgreens wall and just take the ATM. I don't think they're going to do that with the gold ATM. Look into that. That man said that... Uh, he, he said without saying that uh, you'll be killed <laughs> if you try that with that gold ATM. And it's in Abu Dhabi, too. They don't play that crap. Um, so that's how you buy gold, okay? And how you buy it for less. And how if you buy it for more, lots of it, you can store it securely. Think about it. Do some more due diligence. If you have any specific questions you want to ask, just go ahead and do so in the comment section and we'll research it. If we need to, we'll produce another video. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.